All right, good morning, kindergarten. Welcome to week two. This week, you're going to get a chance to do two lessons. The very first one is called The Great Eggscape, where you get to create 12 eggs of your own, hide them somewhere in your home, and then make a little booklet to show where you find them. And I hope that you take your time with it and have lots of fun with your family. The second one that you're going to do is called, I believe, the Giant Easter Egg Creation and Hunt. And in that one, you're going to be using, I guess, or looking around your house for the largest piece of paper that you can find so that you can create your giant Easter egg to put on display. In that lesson, it calls for painter's tape, but you do not need to have painter's tape if you don't have that at home. That's just an easy way to, I guess, make patterns on your eggs. But I know that you guys are fantastic artists and you may not even need tape um, to show the different lines on the Easter egg. I'm going to be reading an Easter story to you this week too. Um, that's by Jan Barrett and it's called The Easter Egg. Um, so I'll be doing that and I hope to send you a little video that I know that you will love because we do it all the time in my class and um, it's a little movement video and I hope that you do it with your family. So another great thing this week is you get to have your April calendar. We're in a brand new month. It's the month of April and I have continued on with leaders. So each day you will still have your leader day. Now, how that works is completely up to you and your family a little bit. Maybe you're taking on a leadership role at home and you're deciding to set the table, or maybe you get a chance to choose what bedtime story you want, or maybe even if you're super lucky, you might even get to help out with supper or choose what supper you're going to have. So hopefully you and your family can decide how special you want your leader day to be. From our end from our classroom, our leader day is going to look a little bit different. So when you see your name on the calendar, you need to answer a question and you need to do a kindness challenge. And your question for this month is what is your favorite animal and why? And you can choose to um, answer that question with an email. So you could tell your parents what your favorite animal and they could email it to me or you could draw your favorite animal and you can send me a picture of it, or you are welcome to make a little video and send me that. Um, and that's how we will run Leader Days this month. Um, there's also a kindness challenge, and in that challenge, it's at the top of the calendar, it will say that you, I would like you to talk with your families and choose two things, kindergarten, that you are thankful for. And um, hopefully you'll have some good talks with your moms and dads um, with that. Uh, the other thing that you're going to do is if you choose, because I know how much you love show and tell, and I know how much you love to bring something. If you choose to keep doing show and tell, um, you're more than welcome to make a video or send a picture of something you would have brought into the classroom, or even pair up with a friend that you know in the class, and maybe you could send a little video or do a FaceTime with that person, if you choose to do the show and tell part of it. All right? So for this week, I need you to know a um, couple things. I posted also last week on um, the blog, anytime that you're doing writing, you are more than welcome to use your Jolly Phonics card. And there is a picture on the um, website with that. And that will hopefully help you to sound out some of the words that you might put on your page. Um, just trying to think of what else. For those of you who have your printing books at home, you are more than welcome to still do your cut and paste and printing your letters. And if you'd like to send me pictures of those too, I would love to see your progress. Um, so know that you can keep, keep going with those. Um, one quick thing for my afternoon class especially, um, they, there's someone here that might wanna say hello to you. Um, so for my afternoon kindergarten class, someone's been waiting to say hello to you. Come on in, buddy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, they remember me. Oh, well, of course, Ryland. I'm sure that they remember you. So, yeah. So, we've had a couple weeks that are a little bit strange doing school from home. Hey, buddy? Yeah, absolutely. But, so, kindergarten, know that I miss you a lot and that I hope things are well with you and your family, and I look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you soon. Bye.